So today Isabel and I are gonna draw a parrot, so we hope you enjoy this one with us. So here we basically start with random shapes, shapes that will somewhat make up the core elements of the illustration, as you can see. to just erase out the shape and then from there we will be continuing to just map out the design of uh, the object using those shapes as reference. sketch and so the next step is usually erase it out a little bit so we can start the darkening process with a, a lighter sketch so as you can see there's a, lo a lot of back and forth with uh, the erasing of the sketch so you can just keep it as clean as possible So now we will start the darkening process and I usually like to start with the top section of the illustration and work my way down, this will prevent or minimize any smudging. shades and colors we add them together it doesn't have to necessarily be really, really clean it gives you a, a variety of different um, textures when you just mix and match the colors Um, 
um, during coloring, I keep in mind that uh, we start off with uh, the lighter colors uh, so that uh, when you do your darker shadows, at least the lighter colors have been already set. So then I go around afterwards to um, put the darker shadows where they're needed and we top it up with uh, highlights at the end of the sketch which you will see later. mentioned and some of those darker elements will turn into some of the shadowish or shadow layers of the illustration. basically where the sun or the light reflects on the object it gives it this uh, highlight effect so and right after applying the highlight I go around and just shade slightly over the highlights to uh, reduce the, the whiteness slightly but still keep it as a, as a core highlight
this is our final sketch of a parrot so I hope you guys had fun watching along with us I hope you tried it out and it doesn't matter if your drawings don't look exactly like ours but this is our final art piece so thanks for joining us and see you guys the next time